Amazing. Well done, uh, Mustafa Ali. Thank you so much for that um, recitation. Really, really appreciate um, your time. Um, and now we're at the part of the show where to kick off the, the, our guests. Uh, and as you've seen, we're going to be joined um, by uh, brother Ibrahim Al-Ansari, who's going to be the, doing the, the daily dua segment uh, of the show. It's the first episode. So, brother Ibrahim, uh, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. We are, are you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing fine. Good, thank you very much. We're doing fine. We're very excited to have you on the show. Um, I'm we remember to be here again. we remember some good times from yeah. our last series. Mm. Um, and so for this is the first of, of many episodes, inshallah. We're going to be joined by some enlightening and invigorating kind of discussions about du'as, um, ziyaras, um, and supplications. Yeah. Inshallah right. to meet mm. your good thoughts, inshallah. 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 Brilliant. So Zara, today we're going to be focusing on um, the birth of yeah. Um, Sayyida Fatima Zahra alayhi salam. Lady of Light. Uh, and there is a particular part of the dua that, that, you've, uh, that you've chosen. Um, so tell us first and foremost, um, what is the actual dua or the ziyara that you've chosen? Yeah. Um, and the specific part that um, we're going to be discussing today. Inshallah, definitely. First of all, uh, congratulations to you and to the whole Islamic Ummah on the birth anniversary of Fatima Zahra alayhi afdal salatu salam. Now, this extract that I chose is actually from the ziyara of Fatima to Zahra mm -hmm. uh, Now, instead of telling you from which part it is, I actually want to get to that after we recite it. Mm. Just because I feel like even the exact um, position of it within the ziyara plays a big effect within the status of Fatima to wow. Zahra herself as well. So, inshallah, if we can get to that after we recite yes, it, yeah, definitely. inshallah. So, do you want to, should we go through yeah, the recitation go. now? Yeah, mm. inshallah. <coughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Ya mumtahanatum tahanaki allahu alladhi khalaqaki qabla yakhluqaki. Fawajadaki limamtahanaki sabira. وزعمنا أن ألك أولياء ومصدقون وصابرون لكل ما آتانا به أبوك صلى الله عليه وآله وأتى به وصيه فإنا نسألك إن كنا صدقناك إلا الحقتنا بتصديقنا لهما لنبشر أنفسنا بأننا قد طهرنا بولايتك اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Thank you so much, it's beautiful جزاكم الله خير So you mentioned that even this particular extract yeah. in the position of the entire ziyara yeah. there is a significance behind that Yes yeah. Now when, when you look at this specific extract usually if I was to look at this extract without um, having seen the ziyara before, my guess would be it would be amongst the middle, towards the end. Whereas, it is in fact the very first lines of the ziyara, the very very first lines of the ziyara. Right. And now it is amazing. People might be asking why? Why is that still amazing? It's because when we look at ziyara, when we uh, recite our salutations to the imams, yeah. we usually start with assalamu alaikum ya rasulullah, yeah. yeah. assalamu alaikum. Ya Aba Abdullah, Salam Alaika Amir al Mu'minin. This one, it goes straight into Ya Mumtahana. And of course, this is narrated from Imam al Baqir alayhi of the Salati was Salam. When he comes to speak about his grandmother Fatima to Zahra, and before he sends his salams to her, he says, Ya Mumtahana. Mm. What is he trying to tell us? There's, there's, there's something very big mm -hmm. about this word. There must be something very big about the start that he even put it before his salams upon his grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. When we look at what it truly means, mumtahana means O tested one, O trialed one. Now, the moment I think, why would he look at Fatima Zara as a trialed one? Mm. Aren't we all trialed? Do I not or have a trial? Do you not have a trial? Yeah. They're all trialed. Yeah, Every single yeah. human on earth, part of our life is that we are going through imtihan. Through a trial. Mm. Then he carries on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has trialed you. Uh, the one that created you. 
like with the imams it's very beautiful how they how they say their words mm. they add these lessons they add these parts of tawhid they add mm. these parts of of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he makes sure that he emphasizes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who created you mm. created this amazing being qabla an yakhluqaki before he created you now this is one of many um, parts which are the great states of Fatima al-Zahra because when we when the ulama look into this they say that unlike any single one of us in fact let's put all of us to the side unlike the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we are all trialed in this world we are all give, given our ibtila during this world mm. whereas Fatima al-Zahra alayha salatu wa salam during alam al-dhar which is before we create, before we were created, Allah subhanahu wa taala brought her to the throne. He said, "These are the trials that you will face during the uh, uh, during your lifetime." Then, what does the Imam answer? For wajadiki sabira, he found you patient. Mm. So Fatima al Zahra, alayha of the Salam, in fact, showed true submission to Allah subhanahu wa taala and showed the patience that Allah subhanahu wa taala. Require, uh, is required from the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before she was even created. So was her trial knowing that these were her trials in this world or, was, mm. or did she have other trials there? Are you, are you no, just... so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her, Fatima, when you are going to be created from day one until the, the day that you pass away, until the day that you meet me again, these are the trials that you will be facing. Okay. And she was patient. So, for example, with us, when when we go through specific trials, if we if we are um, lacking, for example, uh, our financial status is low during a specific time, um, we go through a trial of losing a loved one, uh, your father, Illness, your mother. Uh, so lots of things that we Allah go subhanahu wa taala asks us to be patient, oh. to thank Allah subhanahu wa taala in, in in every single way possible. Fatima al Zahra did this before she was created. Oh. So it is one of the of many things that show her great status. The quality, isn't it? Because I think, as human beings, if we were told that you know even next week this could happen to you, most people would be like, you know, yeah. panicking, you know, losing their patience because you know to understand that you could go through something. Because yeah. um, in the depth of a trial, it is very difficult. So Subhanallah, how she even at that point, you know, before she was brought to this world, she knew about it and she she took it with patience. That's quite. You know, it gives the, the like you said, the, the reason behind why they are who they are. Um, yeah. Because how many human beings can actually, creation can, can be patient in that time. Definitely. It's also very interesting because you mentioned you know, Imam Baqa salam, even, even before he even you know, addressed Fatima Zahra, mm. would yeah. always say, Ya Mumtahana. Yeah. And I know it's the birth of, of Fatima Zahra, but we can't, like, no. we can't excuse or, or leave to the side the amount of um, yeah. tribulations or trials definitely. that she went. So it is definitely very, very, very interesting that the, whole, the, the entire ziyara starts with Ya Mumtahana. Yeah. And only after this, and فَقَدْ تَهُرْنَا بِوْلَايَتِكْ Only after that does he send his, his salams to his, to his grandmother Fatima to Zahra. So going from the beginning, yeah. do you want to continue sort of explaining what, which extract you've actually, you know, the part that you've, you've recited now, so how, yeah. the translation for people. So, um, after that, after he says, فَوَجَدَكِ uh, لِمَمْتَحَنَكِ صَابِرَ He found you patient. He carries on to say, وَزَعَمْنَا أَنَّا لَكِ أَوْلِيَاءُ وَمُصَدِّقُونَ وَصَابِرُونَ لِكُلِّ مَا آتَانَا بِهِ أَبُوكِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَأَتَى بِهِ وَصِيَةُ And we claim to follow and to be patient and to believe in everything that your father uh, uh, and his wasi, so Imam Ali, mm. brought towards us. So this is a claim that we make. Then he carries on with a dua. فَإِنَّا نَسْأَلُكِ إِن كُنَّا صَدَّقْنَاكِ We ask you, if uh, we have truly believed in you, إِلَّا أَلْحَقْتِنَا بِتَصْدِيقِنَا لَهُمَا لِنُبَشِّرَ أَنفُسَنَا بِأَنَّا قَدْ طَهُرْنَا بِوْلَايَتِكِ That you include us amongst those who believed in the Prophet and Imam Ali so that we may give ourselves glad tidings that we have become pure in your wilayah. 
Realize in your wilaya, mm. not in the wilaya of Amir al muminin not in the wilaya of Rasulullah, in your wilaya. And in this specific thing where he says your wilaya, I find many amazing things when I look at um, the way Fatima al-Zahra was addressed, even in Hadith al-Kisa, for example. When Jibra'il asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says to him, Oh Allah, woman taht al-Kisa, who is um, mm. under the cloak? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies, Fatima to wa abuha, wa ba'luha wa banuha. Fatima and her father, and her Fatima and her husband, Fatima and her children. children. Mm. Now we know that usually in any language, if one if someone wants to address, if if I want to say, for example, in a specific gathering, who is there? I would start either with the eldest, yeah. or with the one with the greatest status. Mm. So, for example, a scholar. And who is of a bigger status than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And he was the eldest in that gathering as well. Mm, yeah. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, not the imam. This is even higher than the mm. imam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to everyone who was in that household during that time in relation to Fatima to Zahra. We have just a couple of minutes left. I just want to, for the benefit of the viewers, um, the ziyara of Fatima Zahra, you know, where can we find it? Um, when should we recite it? Yeah. In any particular day, event? How, how, how can we? Now, um, as for Ziyarat al-Zahra, uh, usually these Ziyaras are uh, found in Mafatih al-Jinan, mm -hmm. um, a book, very beautiful book. It, it has gathered all the Ziyarat and the Ad'iyah, or most of the Ziyarat and Ad'iyah, yeah. I'd say. And it is, of course, found there. In terms of when to recite it, um, sending your salams to the Ma'sumin is always beautiful. Mm. Um, on any day of the week, any hour of the day. Um, however, of course, it has greater blessings. Um, it is more appropriate uh, to recite it, for example, on her birth occasion. Mm -hmm. So on her birth, I, I will visit Fatima to Zahra on her death anniversary. And of course, we have three different narrations for that. Mm. So in every narration, let's try to get closer to Fatima to Zahra. Mm. And for me personally, um, I have a special connection with Fatima to Zahra alayhi alayhi salatu wassalam. So personally, I am always trying to recite my salams towards Fatima to Zahra Asant. and asking for her aid uh, during every step. Asant. She's a beautiful personality. And again, um, you know, we often don't do justice to these personalities because we think about, you know, immediately Fadak and things like that, which obviously I'm not, yeah. they're pivotal um, examples in our history. But, you know, her personality and it's, uh, on its own is just mm. amazing. And it's beautiful that you have a connection with her because I know when you talk to people, they have a member of Ahl Bayt, they feel I like, feel a connection with them. Mm, so yeah. the fact it's with um, Lady of Light for you, it's um, very beautiful. But Thank you so much. I mean, I could we could still talk. There's a few more things I wanted to actually speak about. The fact that you've you know that the beginning is of the title is the trialed one and how that impacts in our lives. But we we've run out of time, I think. So maybe another time we can talk inshallah, about that. But thank yeah. you so much, um, thank as, you much. as ever. Um, and then shall we look forward to seeing you in future mornings? Inshallah. Like Have a blessed thank day. Thank you very much. Ibrahim, thank you so much for your time. You. So um, now we're going to be. Um, on to the second part of the of the, of the show, as you know, um, Zara is going to be joined by Brother Bilal um, for the specialist segment, um, and that will be after the break. Stay tuned.